I think this week is going to be a very study day heavy week. Like, I think I have. I'm not cutting trees. <laughs> She's a healthy girl. Who is she? Some things you just have to do and suffer a bit. See? Suffering. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday, bright and early. Welcome back to the vlog. Ah, this week, I feel like it's gonna be very crazy emotionally for me. It's, I really contemplated, like, is this a good week for you to vlog, Kiana? But we're capturing all the moments, it's fine. So we're buckling down on my study days towards my exam. So I think this week is gonna be a very study day heavy week. Like, I think I have two study days and I'm about to ask for another half day that I didn't get to take. Um, I've been missing a few half days so I'm trying to get them all put into this week because there's a lot of progress that I want to be made that I want to make this week. So anyways, hi if you guys are new let me give some backstory. My name is Kiana, I'm a natural analyst and in my career we take these really big exams. It's like taking the MCAT over and over and over again. Um, <laughs> and yeah i have an exam in three weeks these aren't exams that you study like two days before which is what i used to operate on in university so it's always very hard to get my mindset in action for these exams like honestly i should have started studying for this exam months ago and i did but i was moving at the slowest pace ever spaced pace ever now all of a sudden i'm like let's go so it's okay um I created a schedule for myself this morning. I also gave myself some little affirming quotes to take on through the week. So I'll share in case anybody else, like when you get pressured or stressed, you start like freaking out because I don't do well with stress and that's the issue. It's like, I do have enough time still for my exam, but I'm, my brain is like trying to psych myself out and let myself think that we're out of time. like you know just like making me feel stressed for no reason so time is a scarce resource that's what people always say but i put time is not a scarce resource because i have enough time and i have time to take care of myself because that's the thing i know i'm talking a lot in this intro i'm sorry but we're starting this is the theme of the week whenever i um i'm running out of time for things i spend my mind then shifts into panicking and I lose more time because I'm panicking. So I just told myself, oh, white lie. Time is not a scarce resource. You have enough time. You have all the time in the world. Try to multitask things you enjoy in your breaks, which is true because I do have enough time, but I don't have like time to just like, I can't be just like chilling every single day. Right. So I'm trying to like still make time for things that keep me calm and things I enjoy, like being active and talking to my friends on the phone and like just going outside and doing stuff i still have time for all of that but if i can like multitask like let's say i take a call while i'm on a walk or something like that then you know do that be extra gentle with yourself this week and also take care of yourself this week also when i'm in moods like this i don't cook for myself i eat horribly and then i just feel disgusting also because i'm eating whatever I can buy and what usually the things you buy <laughs> are bad food like junk food and shit so yeah anyways it's gonna be a good week I'm very excited I'm just nervous but I think if I can get to Wednesday then I'll be more relaxed on Thursday and Friday which I will obviously get to Wednesday well get to Wednesday with what I want accomplished which I will because we're speaking into existence so yeah, if you guys are new, hi. Well, I well no, by now, by the time this video comes out, all the new people are already here because yeah, last week I, I grew like a few subscribers on YouTube, which was crazy for me because it's the first time I've seen like just such a spike of growth in my channel. But by the time this vlogs out, y'all have been here for like three vlogs. So, I mean, what's up? <laughs> How are we liking Drake's new album? 
it is literally taking me through my study sessions and I'm about to play it up again right now. But I like that type of music. And I just see her talking about it because she doesn't like that kind of, I don't know, like that style of music. I guess they, they're saying it's house music. It doesn't really seem like full, full house music, but I guess it's like subtle house music. Or maybe I don't know what house music is, to be honest, but um, I like it. It's such a vibe. It's definitely up my alley. And yeah, comment down below what your vibe, how you feel about the album. It's a nice little, a little vibey vibe. I can't wait to hear that at like a fun party or like a, oh, just be chilling somewhere and hear that song. It just, Anyways. Go on and just So I have tomorrow off to study. I what's this? Oh. I have tomorrow off to study. I have Friday off to, I'm on my lunch, but I have my computer noise my volume on and I am getting a message and I feel like it's from a group chat. I don't even think it's for me, but the noise is like making me just like want to check ASAP. Yeah, it's for a group chat. Let me mute myself. Or mute, mute my computer. Anyways, um, yeah, I have a study day tomorrow. So full study day. I have a study day on Thursday. And then, I mean, guys, I have a study day tomorrow on Tuesday, full day, Friday, full day, Thursday, half day, which is nice because I really would like that time, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm going to study after work, which also kind of means I can go to bed early because I was up pretty late last night and the night before studying because um, I can attack tomorrow and I might as well be well rested and all that stuff so I'm very excited um, I typically don't do study days I usually do half days um, reason being there's just it's very unlikely that if I have an entire day I'll be working every second of the day so I just prefer to use the half days because I'll have less time so I'll work harder <laughs> um, but anyways, I just uploaded my video on my lunch, made the thumbnail, did all the extra fluffiness and posted it because, yeah, I edited it on the weekend. I just didn't have time to deal with all of it. And yeah, for the next, I guess, 10 minutes, I'm going to just breathe, relax, chill, close my eyes. But I don't want to fall asleep, but close my eyes and then get back into the second half of the workday. There are a few things I need to do and I would like to do today so that I don't feel tempted to work tomorrow or like sign on to finish anything tomorrow so yeah happy Tuesday so as you know I have a study day today and I'm quickly just doing some work on my computer for work <laughs> because I there was something I wanted to finish yesterday before I left just in case like any questions were asked and my computer like the Excel kept crashing so I'm trying to do that ASAP and start studying ASAP I did a little yoga stretch this morning because I'm having the worst back pains because I've just been at my desk so much lately with the studying and work and editing and all that stuff. So yeah, I've, I'm gonna be doing a lot of stretching throughout the day. I think like for every hour, two hours of work, I'm gonna stop and do like a big stretch sesh, not even anything ex extensive, just 
I don't know because that's why I also try to be active more because I know what it does to my back when I have to sit so long but it's just not working so I need to start stretching which is something I've been neglecting so but yeah uh how's everyone doing comment down below at this current moment how are you feeling usually I hate when my mornings are just like taken over by work but I'm trying to just make the most of it because for the most part the work could have been done quickly if the computer kept if it wasn't freezing so I technically have a lot of free time so I'm just like trying to chill I mean my coffee I'm gonna watch a YouTube video and just chill out until it's done I'll probably even start studying while it's running to be honest I should do that it's okay when I'm done this video because I've already decided that I want to watch the video <laughs> There is so much food in our fridge, it's almost <laughs> overwhelming. It's just like a bunch of stuff. Um, this is Montreal smoked meat. Cheese. Where's the bread? Oh. I think I'm gonna do like a either cardio or leg day and I'm gonna wear a sweatshirt even though it's so hot today there's like a heat warning I think it's 34 it feels like 40 but the gym has AC but I always wear like a sweatshirt because there are always a bunch of old people in the gym and I feel well this isn't too bad because usually it's like a, a small small sports bra um, hmm maybe today's the day I'll stop being a little puss <laughs> sorry yeah, I'll stop being shy and I'll uh, wear what I want. Yeah, anyways, we're going to the gym. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I am <laughs> I'm so tired. Uh, I was oh, I spent the whole day studying yesterday, of course, and studied till around, I don't know, midnight. And then I procrastinated for a bit because I was supposed to go take a shower and eventually went to shower at like 1.30. <laughs> and I called my friend for a bit and we were talking to like three something. Uh, <laughs> I'm so tired, but I decided today I'm going to actually take the day off studying one to give my mind a break because it's just pulling in so much information i'm also going to use today to do my client videos so i've been really slacking with my clients videos like getting it sent out to her on time usually they're due on thursdays but i've been sending them on like friday saturdays sundays because i've just been so um wrapped up in studying and feeling like i don't have time to be editing videos but I need to remember it's a job um, and they're really graceful like it's an actuarial business so they fully fully understand that like I'm studying and shit but I want to respect that stuff and also get ahead on their next week's videos so I'm gonna try and edit two videos today which is really a lot but we'll see what we do um, for my own videos I'm gonna be posting once a week by the time you guys see this it's probably close to when my exam prep is done anyway so it won't feel that way I mean I guess now me telling you that doesn't really make any sense but I mean just a FYI <laughs> yeah I feel like I should just post once a week and just calm down for a bit I was posting a lot and it was really making my YouTube channel like get like a lot of traction track why did I say like that traction but um yeah I need to just prioritize and I can get back that traction if it's meant to be it's meant to be so anyways I was gonna go walking so anyways, I was going to go walk and get a coffee, but it is so hot, which I'm not complaining, but yeah, I'm not walking outside. It's hot and humid. It's 26 degrees. You'd think I grew up in Jamaica, but I wasn't walking in Jamaica like that. Um, <laughs> I grew up, what am I saying? I It's 26 degrees, feels like 30. I stepped outside on my balcony. Sticky. You know how sticky it gets. Um, listen to Drake's album. <laughs> Um, 
so yeah anyways hi uh i feel so disconnected from you guys i was like should i even keep this vlog and i was like no can i even keep the vlog because this is just real life let's make a morning beverage drink some water from first became so popular at my job <laughs> um, I came on and just got a bunch of emails and I'm like who am I like I mean granted a lot of them were like system alert emails like probably about 10 of them but even 22 that's a lot for me um, like 22 with material stuff like usually I get a lot of emails because they're like corporate emails or like the system is updating emails but like emails that i'm actually involved with granted a lot of them are like threads too anyways and yeah i just wrapped up all the urgent things i needed to do since i wasn't here yesterday and it looks like today's gonna be a pretty chill work day which i can really appreciate i have something that i need to do which is already gonna give me a headache because um I somebody else was supposed to do their part so i could do my part and i don't see their part done and i'm off for most of the rest of the week so yeah that's my priority right now getting that sorted out so that i can you know but anyways what i actually turned on the camera to say to you guys my work is giving us a recognition fee um like a 75 dollar recognition to get food wherever we want and it doesn't really have to be through uber eats so i can really stretch the money <laughs> basically just like spend up to 75 dollars worth on food and we can just once we've spent the 75 in total because they don't want us expensing each individual receipt once we have gotten to the total then we just submit one claim which is good because the last time they gave us free money i forgot to take it <laughs> and i just wasn't ordering food that much at the time you know so Anyways, I love that for me. Good morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog. I've been very busy the past few days. Um, I obviously have footage, y'all know, but I probably won't use it just because it's literally been a cycle of eat, sleep, work, study, workout, repeat. girl who is she i have a bunch of vegetables that i have a bunch of veggies that are going bad so i'm trying to like be very high veg for the rest of the week so today tomorrow saturday because i might be going home for the weekend and i don't know how long i'm gonna stay just as yet like i don't know if i'm gonna go and come back this next day or if i'm gonna stay for a bit so yeah try not to waste my veggies so don't be thinking I'm changing. I'm just trying to not waste my food. I'm also trying to force myself to eat things like kale. I do not like kale. <laughs> but I'm an adult, so... 
you have to just suck it up you know that's actually a theme i've been talking to people about lately i feel like so many people have been like complaining to me about things going on in their life and yes you're justified to feel the way you feel but some things you just have to suck it up and do it you know like right now i'm trying to get my skin really nice and glowy so i have to suck it up and just eat my veggies i can't sit here like well i don't i don't have i'm upset that i don't have nice clear skin but also i don't want to eat veggies or i want to lose weight but i don't want to exercise or some things you just have to do <laughs> and suffer a bit she is suffering <laughs> Yo, it's one thing about Zara, them have bare color bags and just accessories. But when in here chaotic like this, it really makes it hard for me to shop. I need to get one of those sticky kind of um, things that I can like stick my phone on the wall, you know? Anyways, I'm at Zara with Justine and she's looking for some something specific and I was taking this as a study break opportunity to look for some shorts. So, we're gonna try on some shorts. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I really hate when shorts have all the buttons and I don't know why I picked up two shorts with all the buttons. I think this one is no button though. But like, come on now, can I think I actually showed you guys this a long time ago. Like, oh my god, I'm sorry. Anyways, I think I showed you guys this probably like one of the last times I came here. This is just like a nice little casual day shorts. I think I'm gonna get this one for sure. These are kind of too short and I don't wear short shit like this anymore. So, yeah. are a little too big on the waist and then they're just too short at the front i don't know i guess they're regular length for party shorts but i don't know i just haven't worn sh this short in a while i kind of feel uncomfy i don't know guys i feel like every store has such horrible quality clothes nowadays I cannot find a jean shorts for the life of me. The shorts in here are bad quality too. Yeah, they're the same. H&M and um, they're the same. I just I want to like shop. Just to wear like over. But more fitted. No, no, no. You should wear over like casual tops. Oh, like outside of work. Alright, I'm in the Levi's. Is this something on my shirt? Oh no, it's a glare. Okay, I'm in Levi's. I got the shirts from Zara, but they're really bad. <laughs> Like, they're not horrible quality, but they're just not good. These are definitely a lot better. And they're more expensive, of course, because they're Levi's. But we're going to see if they work. And they also aren't mom shorts. They're just shorts. But yeah, let's see. Guys, I like these. They're comfortable. They're short, but not too short. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'll try on this pair because I got so this is the first style this is the style that I have on right now so I have this style the ribcage shorts and then the 501s so let's try on the 501s which they're definitely gonna be short of all right yeah it goes without saying these are no for me yeah Shit. <laughs> uh, but not to the same store. Oh my god. Oh, it's so bright. Oh, I look like I'm going to the beach. So, yesterday I fell asleep. No, 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 lies. When I came home, I started studying immediately because I already wasted so much time being at the mall longer than 
I original. Oh, my fan. I'm sorry. I'll restart my sentence. So yesterday when I came home, I jumped into studying because I had been out way longer than I intended to. I mean, I guess I wasn't out longer than I intended to be, but I definitely just felt guilty for being out when I should have been studying. So came home, got a lot of work done, felt really good and i decided i'll show you guys all my stuff now so now i have on everything i bought yesterday so we can do the haul in one go so i got these shorts from levi's they are so nice they're the rib cage shorts i'll put like a link in the description they're in black now the waist is a little bit big i didn't even realize their waist was kind of big for me yesterday when i tried them on but i have a solution for that i saw justine with this basically she has this button and you can get them on amazon i'll also link that down below um, i'm gonna buy some myself today there's this button you can get and it kind of like crosses over into like Okay, hold on. So you can basically take the button. Oh, this has a lot of buttons. I don't know if it'll work with this, but you, it's like you, you shift where the button is and you make like a fake button. So the pants will fit on your waist because you're pulling this in tighter and it's gonna kind of crossy cross, but it won't look weird because I've seen other people with it before, to be honest. So yeah, so I got those t-shirts and I love them. Oh, skin, come on now. I got these sunglasses now these sunglasses a couple actually over a month ago probably in may early may justine went to get sunglasses from sunglass hut and when we were in the mall i tried these on and i love them i love them i love them i love them but i was already spending so much money in may that i was just like i can't justify paying over 100 bucks for sunglasses right now and ever since that day i have not stopped thinking about these glasses like they i don't know they're just like i love the gray like i feel like it matches a lot of the things i wear a lot more than like regular brown sunglasses that i have like tell me these aren't cute tell me they're not cute <laughs> Oh my god, they're so cute. Yeah, they're really cute. So I'll link down below if anyone cares or wants, but I really like those. And then sandals. These are like $5 flip-flops from The Gap. Um, yeah, I should have gotten a size eight. This is a size seven. I'm a seven and a half. And yeah, I'm now realizing that maybe eight was the move, but it will work you know no one can say anything to me and that is everything i got and i just want to say really quickly it's so it's so interesting because for a long time i've been putting off buying a pair of shorts because i've just been feeling i don't know like ever since gaining weight i've just been feeling very not confident about wearing short shorts um and i don't know i think lately i've just come to realize like you can feel confident even if you look at that exactly the same with just a mindset shift because even like i've been working out i don't even know if i've really lost any weight yet but i basically look the same in my eyes but the difference is just mindset like when i'm working out i naturally just feel more confident in everything i wear and that's actually what's been just helping me with the confidence to get like all the shorts and stuff for summer and just wear whatever i want i've also just been shifting myself out of the mindset of feeling like i can't wear certain things because i've gained weight and blah 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 i mean to be fair one of the reasons i don't wear shorts like this and shit anymore is because when i wear shorts and these aren't that best the best because whatever um the lighting's so horrible <laughs> when i wear shorts and shit men are always calling out to me because they see an ass and they've never seen an ass before and that's just a fact and it makes me uncomfortable when i'm walking on the street and people call out to me i just don't like that shit as you can tell as anyone wouldn't like so yeah i always shy away from shorts because you know us thick girls we get called on like that and it's weird but that's just something i've realized in general whether i wear shorts whether i wear jeans men are just weird so that i've just trained myself to get over and then in terms of just feeling confident and comfortable you'll feel one confident and comfortable when you start wearing your size that's one thing like if you're wearing something that's a bit too tight you're gonna feel like you're overflowing <laughs> because you are um and then also again mindset like who cares and the more you do it the more comfortable you'll feel so 
um yeah i thought i'd add that in there because even if you're not like my size or you're bigger you're smaller everyone feels this thing when they gain weight because we're told that we need to be as small as possible um and i remember i used to latch on to being a size six like i was like i don't want to be anything beyond a size six like um and now i think these shorts i don't know there are 30 i wear size eight in jeans and in like shorts from zara and stuff but i think 30 is like a 10 and if i i didn't even try on the 29 which i think is eight because i was just like one i want my shorts to be comfortable i don't want anything tight and squeezing on me and two it's just a number guys it's not that deep so that's my morning chit chat everyone have a good day i'm gonna make a coffee and get to editing a video for a client i have to edit a video send that off and then i'm gonna start studying for video. I need to go pick up my passport, but I want to study for a bit first. But I also don't want to go to the passport office too late. It's 11.30. By the time I'm done uploading all these videos, like I can start studying now while these videos get uploaded. It's probably gonna take about 20 minutes to upload it on all their platforms. I upload the videos that I edit for them on three different platforms. So I'm thinking I'm gonna start studying and do about two hours. It depends. Like. I'll see how I'm feeling. I'm just gonna keep going until I'm not motivated anymore <laughs> and I need a break. And then we're gonna go pick up my passport. And then we're gonna come back. And then we're gonna continue working. I should eat before I go as well. I made some blue, made. <laughs> I put some blueberries in a bowl <laughs> for breakfast and had a banana because my stomach is tearing up. I am starving but lazy. <laughs> I just got my passport and it was a really 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 quick process like I just in and out as opposed to when um, I had to come apply for it and stuff so one sec do you guys see how life is a game I went to shoppers to pick up a new moisturizer this is the one that I use CeraVe why does the lighting look like that Okay, better. Anyways, when I went, like, I went to Shoppers two weeks ago, I saw it for $20 and I was like, oh, I don't want to get it right now. And then today, today I had to pay $30 for this. But it's the best moisturizer ever, so can't compare. I will never go back to Clean and Clear or Neutrogena or any brand, unless I find a better one. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, back to study. That was a little rough, huh? We're not gonna talk about this because Claire and I got very comfortable. I, I bought a calculator for my exam. I was trying to put off buying this because I was hoping that I wouldn't need it because I just didn't want to pay for a new calculator, but time has come. It's going to make my life a lot easier. So this is very specific to my career, I guess, because who is excited about buying a new calculator? So this is what I use now. And this is me in the middle of doing a question. And then this is a new one. Calculator unboxing. The reason I didn't want to get a new calculator is because it's just like new functions to learn and stuff. But I know it's not that deep. I'm just kind of lazy. But there's some questions that it just takes me too long to do them because I don't have this. And I'm running out of time when I do my practice stuff so
option for today is to use up as many veggies as possible because you guys know I'm leaving tomorrow. I said that, right? I probably said that. I'm going home tomorrow. So I have some ground beef. I'm gonna use up some, I'm gonna use up mushrooms, all, all of them probably, leave some for breakfast. I'm gonna use up one or two. Oh, I guess I'll make some pasta. I just took everything that I thought would go bad. Can this make everything though? I don't think this is enough. And then I'll probably put everything on like a bed of lettuce. Kill, kill, kill. Good morning, happy Saturday. I am kind of in the mood to film a video. I haven't filmed a video, unless it's a vlog, cause vlogs, you know, I'm taking on my life. But I haven't filmed like a proper video in a while because I've just been so busy with studying and stuff. But I wanna talk, I wanna, I wanna talk. Um, so I, feel, I think I'm gonna film a video and it's like nothing deep. It's gonna be really casual and I'm gonna be talking about rebuilding my confidence. So fingers crossed you guys like this video if I even post this video. Um, but anyways, happy Saturday. You guys are kind of close up to be looking down. Made some coffee. I was gonna go to the gym. I woke up late, first of all. It's 9.54. I woke up at nine. Um, I did go to bed late, but usually my body still wakes up early. But I think I think it's because like for the whole week, I've been probably sleeping like five, six hours a, a day. I know this is gonna fuck up my audio. I don't think that makes it better. Oh my God, BRB. What was I even saying? Oh, what was I even saying? Anyways, so yeah, I've been barely getting any sleep and I think my body was just like, we're taking, we're taking back our hours. Um, so, and I said I'm gonna get better about sleep this week cause it's more so that I just keep going to bed late. So, or I keep studying, I keep cutting off my study time late. And then naturally, I still crave a night routine. So I spend another hour or so pushing through sleep to keep my, like, to gradually calm my mind down. Because it's weird. It's like, obviously, I could just stop studying and go straight into bed and maximize the sleep. But my brain literally does need to slowly shift from work to rest and relax and then to sleep. Even if I'm tired, like, I know it's important for my mind to do that because just from experience, like, I know myself. Um... But anyways, I'm very excited. Today I'm going to the circus, but that's gonna be a separate vlog only because I'm gonna make it like, it's just based on the order of events and stuff coming up, but cheers everyone. I might as well cut, cut, cut off this vlog here because aside from if I film the video, there's nothing else that's gonna happen. But before I go, I kinda want to show you guys some of my weekly wrap up favorites kind of did i say that in the right order i know i say phrases all over the place like a wrap-up of my weekly favorites okay let's go they're not that many of them i think but earlier in the week like thursday i was like wow i'm really loving these things right now so i thought i would share on um one of the a song that i've been loving it's called movies it showed up into my showed up in my playlist one of the playlists i found and I'm gonna just link the whole playlist, but this song specifically, Movies by Alfie Templeman, it's just such a fun song. And I just love that kind of music, especially for summer. Like, I just love that movie, that song <laughs> called Movies. Album, I'm loving Drake's album. I don't care what anybody says. I love that she, I'm loving the color orange. I'm gonna insert a picture of what I think I want my nails to look like. I'm kind of contemplating if I want it in orange or a more neutral color, like a very soft pink or a black or a white, but we know I've always wanted to do these grand things with my nails and then nails, why did I say that? And I never do them because I'm afraid. So I think I'm gonna do it. And especially because I'm going on vacation, like, you know, um, hot summer days. I have been loving the heat, even the humid days. All right, you know, but like I am just loving the heat. I'm not even trying to complain anymore because winter really just sucks out the joy and I'm seeing that. <laughs> and my priority for next year 
next winter so basically december <laughs> november no in canada october um i'm gonna be traveling a lot in the in the winter or like making the most of the winter because i refuse i mean i know it's gonna happen but i refuse to like wallow is that the word like when you just live and soak up the depression that comes with the the winter's mood or energy like you know everyone's just giving off negative sad vibes in winter like i refuse to be one of the people just complaining about that like i want to have vacations to look forward to or i want to make the most of winter so but we'll see how the energy feels when the time comes um and also loving inclined treadmill walks because while i do love how hot it is outside it's a little too hot to be walking around and it's, it's a little too hot to be breathing when you're walking around so yeah those are my favorites of the week anyways i hope you guys loved this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video love you all bye